Welcome to a special Friday Traveling Young where we got out of Denmark for the first time in a while and we traveled to Gdansk, Poland. We're the Youngs. We've spent our lives traveling the world. And in 2018, we moved from Chicago, Illinois to Copenhagen, Denmark. Now we want to share with you how our new lives abroad is keeping us young. Keeping us young. Are helping to keep us young. All right, welcome back in this Friday where we actually <laughs> got to go somewhere else for once and left Denmark. <laughs> we did. We packed our bags, went to the airport and everything, and we got on a very short flight and came to Gdansk, Poland. Yeah, it's only like 50 minutes from Copenhagen direct, so I would highly recommend coming yes. here if you're a Dane and one of oh our watchers gosh. in Denmark. But we are super excited to explore the town, walk around, but we're... You know, as you can tell, I'm a little sluggish. It's early, yeah. <laughs> I haven't had my coffee yet, so we're gonna take off right now and go find a good place to have some coffee. Maybe and then, pastry. yes, and we will show you around Gdansk, Poland. So we are here at the Drukarina Cafe uh, on one of these cute little side streets here in Gdansk and right behind me is the St. Mary's Cathedral. It is huge. <laughs> we can't wait to go see it. That's what we're going to go do next. But for right now, we are going to enjoy our pastries. I have this lovely croissant. I've got a latte and Josh has, I don't know what this is, but it's a Polish specialty and it looks amazing and I'm really kind of jealous that I don't get to eat it. So maybe next time. So as you'll see, we're in our house, and that's because <laughs> when we're in Gdansk, we forgot to say a few and things. We were so excited to be And here. Brisket really wanted to make sure he was in the yes. video. So we're popping in to fill in a few blanks yeah. here from home now that we're back from the trip. But first, Miranda's going to talk about the church that we visited. Yeah, so St. Mary's Basilica, St. Mary's Church. Um, it's a huge, huge church. It's the second largest brick Gothic church in the world. Um, it has a huge uh, tower that you could have gone up in, but we decided not to. We were kind of lazy that day. <laughs> and I feel like it's probably got some heights issues on the way up. I would probably struggle with some of those yeah. openings, I think, at some yeah. point. So. And it's it's been beautifully restored. There's quite a few um, artifacts in there to see, so it's really worth a visit. Um, but it did, unfortunately, sustain a lot of damage during World War II, like so much of Gdansk, which we saw in the museum. Yeah, so then uh, what we're about to go to in the video is the World War II Museum, Museum of the Second World War, which yeah. is just well worth going to. Very much. By the way, it's all walkable from the, uh, you know, where we stayed actually in the central part, right next mm. to the old stuff, uh, Old Town. Um, yeah, I think it was only like a 15 minute walk. Yeah, it wasn't something. that bad, but it, oh, the museum is amazing. Yeah. And I have to say like, we didn't want to shoot us talking inside the museum because it's really kind of a solemn experience, but yeah. it goes through basically the three main pillars, which is kind of like the Russian army, the Germans, and then the Asian Pacific um, piece mm -hmm. of World War II. And then it talks about um, the people that were affected. It talks yeah. about like how they were terrorized. It talks about kind of a resistance movement. I mean, there's a bunch yeah. of sections. It's super well organized and it's an amazing museum. There was evidence of Denmark in some of the spots. Like mm -hmm. uh, I got a video that shows uh, one of the hats from the Schleswig uh, Holstein. Schleswig Holstein. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that was on display there and some other things from Denmark because obviously they wanted to represent a lot of the countries yeah. that were touched 
negatively through yeah. the war. And um, I think as an American, it's really interesting to go through and get just a very different perspective on what World War II was like, because we always see it through the lens when we're growing up and learning about World War II. It's always through the lens of America. It's very patriotic. And then you go and you kind of learn a whole lot more happened a lot earlier than the U.S. was involved. Well, and, and we were obviously in our country, with the exception of Pearl Harbor, not really affected yeah. in our own in our own cities and towns, like is the case yeah. in Europe, which is why I've always been interested in World War II history when I traveled around Europe, um, because it's just... You literally yeah. see it in the buildings. Yeah, and yeah. Poland was like pulled, big, pulled in the middle yeah. between Germany and Russia. I mean, it's just, uh, it's fascinating. So mm -hmm. here's some footage from the museum. I would absolutely recommend going to see it, but let's show it to you right now. Okay, welcome to today's Friday Fact from Gdansk, Poland. All right, so a long time ago, because we travel a ton, we decided that we weren't gonna just get like knickknacks and stuff everywhere we went. There are definitely some special places where we buy special things when we travel. But most of the time what we do is we go into a Starbucks and we buy a Starbucks mug. I've got like over a hundred, I don't know off the top of my head how many I have, and you might have seen them in various videos. There's somewhere where drinking from them. There's some where they're just like in the background while we're talking. There's some where they're in the background where Maya's getting surprised by her friends. They pop up in a ton of different places in our videos because they're kind of scattered around the house. Uh, Starbucks mugs all over the place. So we've never been to Poland before, which means there's some Starbucks mugs in here that we don't have yet. And uh, it's time to jump into the Starbucks that we found and go ahead and pick up some new cups for our collection. Today's Friday fact, Starbucks mugs all over the traveling young house. <laughs> all right, these are the two Starbucks mugs that we got, the Christmas Poland and the Gdansk one. So yeah. they are now added to our collection. Our giant collection. Of Starbucks mugs. And that was something that we actually did like right off on the second day, but then we headed off and went to um, the Amber Church and we're gonna show that in a second. Couple important notes though, make sure you go with money. Yes. Um, because you have to pay a couple uh, Polish it's worth it. Dollar, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's not yeah, about the cost, absolutely worth it. but they don't take anything other than cash. And we didn't use yeah. cash the whole trip, so I had to then deviate to get uh, money. And then when I came yeah. back, they were in the middle of a church service, so I had to wait like an hour. Yeah. <laughs> so we then went <laughs> to an Amber Museum, which I show in the next after this. You'll see that. Um, and it was funny. Then when we were inside, this uh, priest stopped me when I was taking video and pictures, and I was like, "Oh man, am I in trouble? I was yeah. like, should I not be doing this?" He said, "No, no, no, it's fine." Where are you from? And I said, we live in Denmark, we're from America. And he mm -hmm. sat and like walked us around and yeah. told us a bunch about the history of the place. So that was, was so super cool. It turned from being afraid I was like doing something wrong to getting like an exclusive yeah. uh, access with somebody telling us a bunch in English because other people were yeah. in there speaking Polish. And he, you understand. could tell how excited he was to share it all. Like he was like almost like, no, you've got to see this. And yeah, you have to see this. And it, it was so great getting to walk around with him. Yeah. So. We're going to show that to you now. You definitely should visit this yes, when you go to Gdansk, sure. though. It's very cool. It is our second day here in Gdansk, and you can see it's kind of rainy and maybe not the best day, but 
thankfully we're used to it. Right now we are gonna go check out this place that Josh found online called St. Bridget's Church. And it has this huge altar that has all this amber decoration all over it. So we're gonna go see what it looks like. I grew up eating pierogies and we we're at the Progarnia and I just got my my pierogies and Josh got his oven baked which are quite large they look very nice but we're excited to dig into these we also got some honey beer yes some Polish mead this is actually their own it looks like so from Perogarnia. Perogarnia. So we're excited to eat up. That was the trip to Gdansk, yes. and while well, Tuesday we drank some Polish vodka, here we're gonna do a shot of another one yep. cherry flavored, cool. because I just got back from my module two test yeah. for Danish and passed, so I'm moving on to module three. Miranda passed yep. hers like uh, before well, the summer, <laughs> so she's already in module yep. three, so cheers, skull. skull. Uh, to Lugan? Yeah, 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 it's not a Lugdansk. Do you can sing a Lugdansk? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but I drink a drink a yeah. vodka quite well. Yeah, drink a vodka. <laughs> so uh, uh, anyway, just a quick recap. We mm -hmm. had such a great time in Gdansk. It was so amazing. Um, I yeah. would definitely recommend going. It's such a short flight from Copenhagen, and there's so many cool things. Next week, we're going to show the Malbork Castle, oh, which is a day trip we took great. from Gdansk, which was also super amazing. Yeah. Huge, incredible, very worth it. I mean, we were just there for like three full days, I guess, or three and a half days or something. Yeah. And we got to do a ton in that time. I would recommend going. Mm, yeah, and the city is beautiful. It's just well worth it to just go and walk around. So Yeah, uh, it was amazing. So anyway, that's it. So stay tuned next week for the Malbork Castle video. Yes. Um, thanks for all the feedback, by the way, and the oh driving stuff God. from Maya. <laughs> Poor Josh. Lots of great... <laughs> I got to say, though, there's a healthy mix of people that got their license at 18. Um, this was on Tuesday's video. They got their license at 18. Some got it at 18 and paid for it. Some yeah. got it in their 20s because they waited to pay for it and their parents didn't pay for it. And so they had to wait. 
And then some people didn't get it till much later because they didn't need it. Some people said, well, I got it early, but then I didn't drive and I didn't feel comfortable yeah. later driving. So I think it's a pretty big mix. And I want to make the point, it has nothing to do with not wanting Maya to drive. No, no. It's more the cost because yeah. we're paying for a huge party for her to have on her 18th birthday. Yeah. And the time because she's like in this gymnasium now. We want her to focus on that. And yeah. she just got a job. So... I mean, if it was free and it took no time, obviously I have no, no. problem with her getting a license. That's not the issue. It's more just trying to balance kind of pushing the right cost now. a little bit yeah. and also making sure that she, uh, you know, can focus on a few other things first. Yeah. Just to be clear, it has yeah. nothing to do with not trusting no. her as a driver. We want her to have a good 18th birthday. Yeah, we want to focus on a nice party. She didn't have a confirmation, and this is kind of like uh, what she's having instead. Yeah. So, all that said, uh, we're going to go. Stay tuned for next week, next Tuesday, all the stuff popping up, brisket. He says goodbye. He's disappointed he wasn't with us in Poland, but he's here with us now. And yep. uh, there you go. We're going to say goodbye then. Bye. Bye. -bye.